welcome back to the Kinwoven home. Today we are outside and it's only 84 degrees. That is a miracle. It has been like 100 degrees every single day and it was raining this morning. All I can say is Oklahoma weather is just so weird. You're always on an adventurous ride of what's the weather gonna be today. I'm gonna take you guys through my backyard. This is a video that I've been dying to make since we moved in and we worked with Article on this space. They have really beautiful furniture and it's really well made. A lot of it is actually modular. Um, it's sent to you in boxes. So if you do live in small spaces or if you're moving, you can easily break things apart and move them wherever you need to go and then set them back up when you get there. But all of the furniture that you see in today's video is from Article with the exception of a few small details, which I'll point out along the way if it's not. Uh, we have a great sitting area. We have a great dining area. We have some good ambiance with the chimes which I have muted for now for the sake of our video, but don't you worry, we'll let them play in just a little bit. What is the weather like in your neck of the woods? Is it all over the place like ours or is it pretty steady? Like it, mine used to be in California in San Diego. Okay, leave me your comment below. Make sure you thumbs up this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get started. Okay, so the first tip to creating a beautiful backyard oasis when you're like kind of working on your sitting area, what you want to do, I really recommend you start with a great outdoor area rug. You want an area rug that is directly underneath the front legs of all of your furniture. Obviously you could have it as wide as you want if it goes under all of the legs, but the minimum is that it's at least in the front legs of the furniture on that rug. This rug is actually not from Article. It's, I think it's from Walmart. And it was a great way to bring in some summer colors. We have red brick out here. So bringing in that rusty red pinky color was kind of the goal. And it sets the tone and the space for this little outdoor seating area. tip, create a conversational area. A lot of these tips you'll notice are very similar to how you should set up your living room or your family room. The application just comes to the outdoors. I love this piece of furniture. This is not wood. It's almost like, I don't think it's plastic, but it almost feels like it. It's soft, but it's like a braided rattan material that is really sturdy. We had the option that came with the ottoman and this comes off so you can use the cushion or you don't have to use the cushion. But I love that it's neutral. I love that it's super comfortable, comes with lots of pillows. It does fill up the space really well and it provides another conversational area over here with these two chairs. And then I actually have these two little bean bags. They're actual bean bags. I love them, they're great for kids. I love that I can move them wherever we need additional seating. You can use it as an ottoman, you can use it as a seat, whatever you need. And I think it creates just a really casual sitting environment. Overall, having plenty of seating outside is ideal. Okay, one thing I will say, we got this furniture about a year ago and it still looks amazing and is uh, really held up quite well. Another quick thing to note, these cushions, and this might apply to a lot of like outdoor cushions, our dog, Scout, loves running in our yard, getting all muddy, and then jumping up on these cushions. There's really no way around it. That's just how it is. But what I have found is all you need is a pressure washer. You can get a pressure washer at Home Depot. You just pressure wash with water. Sometimes you can use a certain um, solvent if you need, like a soap, and then you just let them sit in the sun and dry out. And these cushions look brand new. I got these Terrazzo side tables from Article as well. I love that they're just simple in shape. They're a great height, but I just love that they have kind of that pebbled look. And I have it in the planter as well over here with this beautiful plant in it, which leads me to my next tip, bringing the outside outside. Now, if you guys look at my backyard, it's beautiful in the summer and in the spring. We have crepe myrtles blooming. We have ivy on the fence. We have trees and bushes and all the greenery you could ever need. But that's all in the surrounding area. I really recommend that you bring a few plants in closer to kind of add a pop of green, a pop of green, bringing in flowers and all that kind of stuff. I do have this goal one day to be like an expert gardener, but I really have realized I cannot be growing children and working full time and gardening. Like I just can't do all three. 
So once I'm done having babies, then I'm gonna lean into my green thumb and really be a good gardener. That's just like what I've decided. So check back in like eight years and we'll see how I'm doing. Now these are from Antlin. You guys all remember Antlin, love Antlin. But when the wind blows and oh, does it blow here in Oklahoma, it is such a beautiful sound, such a beautiful vibe that is created out here. It's like a sound bath, honestly. That is kind of like what it is. I'm gonna show you a couple other things that we've done back here that are really special to our backyard that I love. One of which is a thermometer, both Celsius and Fahrenheit, which you know makes a lot of sense. My friends, the Canadians, they always talk in Celsius and now I get what 30 degrees means. That's about 90. Let me show you something behind you. My friends at Primrose Lifestyle made this, and I'm gonna link it for you guys because I know they still have some available. This is the cutest, coolest thing. If you have kids, if you're outside having a dinner party, I just think this is such a cool cottagey vibe. So it attaches here on the back. It comes with their own wash, hand wash. I will demonstrate. You use some soap, rub it on your hands, and then, do you see this lever? You push up on the lever. Is my dress getting wet? Isn't that so cool? Then you, it comes with a towel, which you hang right here. And there you have it. Fresh, water-dripped belly. <laughs> it's kind of a fun thing to have for the summertime. Okay, last but not least, let me show you our little dining area out here. So here is our outdoor dining table. Again, this is from Article, and I love this picnic bench style. This table has been through, like I said, a lot of weather, and it has held up really well. In fact, it has weathered a little bit. I think the aged, um, the what weather does to wood, I think makes it look really cool. So if you guys remember, we actually had the same dining table. We had a different seating situation, but the same dining table at our last house, but it was a darker wood and it had black legs. For this house, because a lot of the trim is white, the house is a neutral tan color, we don't really have any black accent colors back here at all. I really wanted um, to, to redo this table and have it be the, the gray wood with the white legs. And then I saw that they had just launched the picnic style benches, which I think are great. And then we added these two chairs on either side so we can actually seat a table of eight. I love these cups. I actually found these at kind of like a, it's kind of a thrift store here in Tulsa. And I think I got them for like $2 a cup. I just think they're so cool. They're so retro. They're very like islandy, perfect for summer. And I love the pops of color mixed with these little plastic plates. And then of course, you always need a great umbrella, especially in this Tulsa hot summer sun. And then we're surrounded by greenery, which I think is so fun. I love how beautiful the trees are here. I love the flowers, I love nature, I love well-groomed nature, I don't really love being in nature, but this type of nature I can handle, you know, in the city, totally. Thank you again to Article for such amazing outdoor furniture. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these items, I will be sure to link them below. Okay guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this was a fun, informative video, very summery indeed. I'm glistening over here, ready to go back into the AC. I hope that you guys were able to learn a few fun tips on how to maximize the space in your backyard, how to make kind of your layouts really beautiful, make them functional, um, and make them a space, like create a space you actually want to be in when you're outside. Okay guys, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Love to you all. Bye-bye. butter knife. There's a lot of water spots on my belly. <laughs> I think that's sweat, which is, which is really cute. Well, we're just going to pretend it's not there. <laughs>